Okay, so this is the fall 2021 AMC 12B problem 12. Going to be done first in a partially done at least in a bashy kind of method. And I'm not going to complete that method, but I want to show you what that looks like because that's your plan when you don't know the second method, which I did not know actually. I mean, I mean, I probably learned it at some point, but the concept that you needed, I have never seen it on a previous AMC of any kind for 20 years. I've not seen it yet in an AOPS book, but it might be in one. I just haven't maybe completed that chapter or something like that where it was located. Um, I've just never come across this. So I looked it up later on. I would have probably, I, I would, I just bashed it if I was doing it during the test. But uh, if I didn't have enough time to do that, when would you bash this question? You would bash this if you had one through 11 all correct. You're going for like trying to qualify for Amy. You're probably not going for USAMO. And you just need like three more questions. You know, if you get 14 right out of 25 and you skipped all the rest, you're going to get 100.5 pretty much guaranteed to qualify. So um, let's take a look at this. Uh, for n, a positive integer, let f of n be the quotient obtained when the sum of all positive divisors of n is divided by n. For example, f of 14, the sum of all divisors of 14 divided by 14 itself gives 12 over 7. What is f of 768 minus f of 384? Observation number one, this is half of this. So let's see if we can prime factor this. I notice it's 192 uh, times two. So I'm gonna do that, 192 times two. And I'm also gonna put 384 times one. And I'm, I'm not gonna actually prime factor just yet. Let me write this a little bit lower so it's below those words. I'm going to show you kind of a process that I would have considered using if I bashed it out. Um, all I'm going to do is, do I know if 3 goes in? You can probably tell 9 plus 2 plus 1 is a multiple of 3. So I put the 3 here and I divide it into this number, not the original. And so this number, it's going to go in 64 times. I'm going to take that remainder, the, 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 the quotient of that, and times 2 to get 128. Now, does 4 go in? Yes, 4 is going to go into here 32 times. I'm going to multiply 32 times 3 to get 96. And you can kind of quickly generate as many of these as you can that work. 6 goes in for sure because it goes into both 2 and 3. And so I, 5 doesn't go in. I can put 6 here, divide it in to get 16 times 4. 16 times 4 is 64. Um, is 7 going to go in? No, because 7 goes into 350 and not 34, which is the gap. Uh, does 8 go in? Again, see how you can take the next number down in the increasing list, divide it into this one usually, and you'll get one uh, a nice uh, cancellation there. So 8 times 6 is 48. Okay, then does 9 go in? Um, I would need 3 plus, this is 12, plus 3 is 15, 9 not going to go in, 10 not going to go in. Does 11 go in? Um, 11 goes into 330 and not 54, so no, 11 doesn't go in. Um, does 13 go in? Uh, 13 is going to go into 390 and not the gap of 6 from 390 to 3, no. Does, uh, what's the next one? 17 go in? Um, 17 is going to go into 340, which is 17 times 20, and then you have 44 more to go, and that 17 does not go into this gap, so that's not going to work. Does 19 go in? 19, again, is going to go into 380, so it does not go into 4, which is the gap, so 19 is not going to go in. Um, you're looking for kind of, uh, well, maybe I should have tried other ones too. What about 12? I forgot about that. Okay, so I uh, yeah, Back to the things that are not prime. I thought I was doing prime factorization. 12 goes in, right? 12 is going to go into 48. 4 times 4 times 8 is 32. And then 14 can't because you don't have a 7. 15 can't. Can 16 go in? Yes, you can see it right here. 16 goes into here twice times 12 is 24. And that's going to be all the ones in that list. To verify, go ahead and prime factor this, right? Uh, this is 64, which is 2 to the 6th. And you also have 2 times 3, so you're going to have 2 to the 7th times 3 to the 1st. All right, if that's the prime factorization, the total number of divisors is add 1, add 1, 
it's 8 times 2, which is 16 divisors. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups of 2. These are all the divisors, and you could then add them up. You might notice this one is f of 768. And so if you multiplied this by 2, then 768 would be equal to 2 to the 8th times 3 to the 1st. Because of that, it would have 18 divisors. What would those divisors be? Well, one of them, 768. Um, the other one you could just find, I forget exactly. I mean, it's 256 probably. Yeah, 256 because you have a 2 to the 8th available, and that wouldn't have been possible over there. Uh, so there you could do that as well. Now, I'm not going to finish that way, right? You could then put that, add this all up, do all that, bash it out, all that kind of stuff. Um, what I am going to do is show you now the shortcut. And again, the shortcut is the sum of the divisors. The sum of divisors um, of a number. Let's say I've got, um, I don't know, uh, let's say I've got 2 to the A, uh, 3 to the B, and 5 to the C. If I have some number like this, this is an example. And the way it would work is you're going to add 1 to the exponent of 2, and you're going to subtract 1, and then you're going to divide by 2 minus 1. Okay? You're going to multiply that result with the same thing done with 3. So it'll be 3 to the b plus 1 minus 1 over 3 minus 1. And the same thing done with 5. I'm going to have 5 to the c plus 1 minus 1 over 5 minus 1, and so on. The product of these is the sum of the divisors. I'm not going to prove this to you right now because at the time of filming, I'm not prepared to prove it. You might want to look it up and prove it to yourself. I don't like putting things in the small notebook if I haven't established them in some other way. There's got to be some forums around there or some handout that explains why this works. It might even be in number theory. Like I said, I looked for this problem in the number theory intro book. Didn't see it in there, this concept, but it might very well be there. I know they have the product of the divisors in there. So, um, what next? So how can we apply this? Well, if we take the prime factorization, right? So you have to have to prime factor it, and I do that for 768, it's right here. So what is the sum of the divisors of 768? It's going to be two to the ninth, um, which is adding one to eight, and then minus one over two minus one. Now two minus one is just one, so we don't really care. Then times, you're gonna add one to three, 3 squared minus 1 over 3 minus 1. More like this, actually. Okay, so what is 2 to the 9th minus 1? 2 to the 9th is 512. So you're going to get 512 minus 1 is 511 times, this is 9 minus 1 is 8 over 2, it's times 4. That's going to give you 2044 over 768. Okay, minus... The other one's going to be the 384. We're going to use this right here for the prime factorization. Again, the way the game is played, you add 1 to the exponent. You're going to get 2 to the 8th. You subtract 1 from that result. You divide by the same prime base, minus 1, like that. And you're going to multiply it with every single prime that has these properties. So I will add 1 to here to get 3 squared minus 1 over 3 minus 1. That's still 4. This is going to be uh, 256 minus 1 is 255. So I will have 255 times 4, 4 times 250 being 1,000, 4 times 5 being 20. Um, you're going to get 1,020 over 384. At this point, you have your choice of how you want to do it. You can divide this by 2 and you will get 1,022 over 384 minus 1,020 over 384. That's going to give you 2 over 384. Simplify 1 over 192. So my opinion of this problem is that they kind of wanted you to know this concept, how to do the sum of divisors. And I don't know what you do with that. If you're preparing off of past tests, you use the AOPS books, you use various sources, I don't care where you went, this is pretty obscure. 
I mean, since it's never appeared, I mean, again, they're adding to the concept pool every year of things that you need to know, it seems like, to be able to do well on these tests. This is definitely not a topic covered in your average school math class of any type. And so you're going to have to get it from some source. I don't know the best source. Do you? If you know the best source to get this explained to you with some examples, leave it in the comments. I will pin your comment or highlight it or heart it or something. Hopefully I don't get too many comments to pin. I can only pin one. And uh, that way other people can benefit from that, uh, that ad, how, how to access that resource. So that's it for this problem. Let's go on to problem 13.